You're listening to the Productive Muslim Podcast, Season 2, Episode 6. Assalamu alaikum, Productive Muslims. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Mifra Maruf, and we are right now on Episode 6 of the Pre Ramadan Boot Camp. So first of all, thank you to all of you who have been participating so far, sharing your comments on the show notes. As for those of you who are listening and have not got around to doing that, then don't be shy. Go ahead, write down your thoughts, let us know how it went. So that way we can just create that group accountability. And this would be more like a group activity as opposed to just something you're doing on your own. Now, if you're just starting to listen to the pre-Ramadan bootcamp episodes right now, then you can still go ahead and listen to the previous episodes, which we have done so far. We've not done much yet. We have not got into the action side of it. It's just so far we have been kind of going through reflection and seeing where we are at at the moment with regards to our physical life, our spiritual and our social development. Because by knowing this, we would know what to focus on and what areas particularly to focus on in order to help us prepare for Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Faris, founder of ProductiveMuslim.com. I hope you enjoy this episode from Productive Muslim Podcast team. I want to take 30 seconds of your time and invite you to our Productive Ramadan online course. This is your one-stop course to all the practical tips you need to overcome your Ramadan challenges and dramatically improve your Ramadan experience, spiritually, physically, and socially. If you're interested, hop on to ProductiveMuslimAcademy.com and subscribe online today. Once you join the course, you'll have access to all our other courses, a private Facebook group where we can have group discussions, book club, and many more. Hope to see you there. Join us today at ProductiveMuslimAcademy.com. All right, so let's get started with our episode for today. So what I have for you today are action points, which are related to these three areas that we covered earlier. So the spiritual, physical, and social fitness. And what I would like from you is that you pick one action point from each of these categories and commit to it for the next seven days. So that every time we finish our episode, then I'll ask you, did you do your three challenges? And then you can let us know in our show notes, now, again, I want to emphasize the importance of participation here because now you are going to be getting out of your comfort zone a bit. And it's really important to make sure you have that support circle around and that can be attained by actively participating. So I'll just go through the types of things that you can do. Now, what I'm going to list right now, you can find it on our show notes and the specific show notes for this episode that you're listening to is ProductiveMuslimPodcast.com slash S2E6, and that stands for Season 2, Episode 6. All right, so for spiritual challenges, the first one is pray all five daily prayers in Jama'ah or at the beginning of their time. The second challenge is pray all Sunnah prayers for five daily prayers. So that is the two before Fajr, four before Duhr, two after Duhr, two after Maghrib, and two after Isha. The third one is pray Duha prayer every day, and that's a minimum of two rakah. The fourth one is recite morning and evening adhkar every day before sunrise and before sunset. And the fifth one is double the amount of Quran you recite every day. So for example, if you recite one page, then recite two pages. If you're reciting five, then 10. And if you're not in the habit of reciting, then just start with one page. So these are five suggestions under the spiritual challenges. I want you to pick one that you are not doing already. Okay, so now move on to the physical challenges. So the first physical challenge is avoid eating sugar for the week. The second one is avoid eating fried food for the week. The third one is have fruits and vegetables in at least one meal per day. Fourth one is sleep early right after Isha each night. And fifth one is avoid screens and TVs at least two hours before sleeping. So pick one that you are not doing already. Okay, so for social challenges, I have two here. The first one is I sit with my parents and siblings for at least 30 minutes per day and listen to them and be fully present. So that means not be on my phone or not kind of like mind is elsewhere. I'm going to be fully present and listening to them. The second challenge is I'll make dua for my deceased parents or a specific sibling or specific relative at least once a day. So there are the two challenges, the social challenges. All right, so 
Again, to just recap on what we covered today, I want you to pick one challenge from each of these areas. So those areas were spiritual challenge, physical challenge, and social challenge. Okay, so if you didn't get that, you can rewind back again and hear them again, or you can find it out on our show notes. And once you have picked your challenge, now remember these challenges are just something you will commit to for the next seven days. So you don't have to get too overwhelmed by it. It's just seven days only. So once you have picked the challenge you want to do in each area, I want you to go ahead and post it on the comments in the show notes. So let us know which one you picked because over the next seven days, I'll be asking, did you do your three challenges? So that's all from me. I look forward to reading your comments and inshallah, I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's episode. Until then, remember, be sincere and work hard.